Hey guys, uh, my name is Chris. I work at Jet City Device Repair. Just got word from our technician Leo that we have received the new iPad 6 at our HQ location. So I'm on my way right now. I'm basically gonna go tear the iPad apart, see how it works, and see how it compares to the previous models. So, uh, come on, let's go, let's go. The new iPad 6 has a 9.7 inch LED backlit multi-touch display. The camera takes 8 megapixel photos and is capable of shooting video at 1080p. You will also notice that the iPad still has the 3.5mm headphone jack at the top and at the bottom you have the lightning connector for charging and other accessories. This iPad also has the A10 Fusion chip and it comes pre-installed with iOS 11. Just as a little disclaimer, we generally recommend that if you have no experience with any repairs, contact professionals such as Jet City Device Repair. You can email us, you can call us, find us on our website at jcdrepair.com. We would be happy to answer any questions and do our best to help in any way. Um, you can break your iPad. These are extremely fragile components in these computers, so we definitely recommend proceeding with caution if you do plan on doing the repair yourself. But yeah, back to the video. When opening your iPad, we definitely recommend using sufficient heat to loosen the adhesive, as well as using plastic tools to separate the glass and the frame. This way you won't scratch any parts of your iPad. You've come to find that opening the new iPad is very similar to the previous iPad Generation 5 model, with the digitizer cables folding at the lower right hand side. We also recommend being very careful towards the bottom of the iPad, because there are two antennas as well as the home button cable which can also be damaged. Next you will find four screws located at each corner of the LCD panel holding it in. These can be removed with a Phillips head screwdriver. These screws look to be a little bit longer and have a little bit larger of a head on them. One main difference between this iPad and other previous models is there seems to be a little adhesive underneath each corner. We made sure to put the iPad back on the hot plate for a few more minutes just so that we can remove the LCD without damaging it. Three more screws fasten in the shield connector plate which protects the digitizer connectors, the LCD connector, and as well as the home button connector. After disconnecting all four of these, you are now safe to remove the screen off your iPad. The digitizer connectors are oriented differently, thus making the previous screens not forward compatible with the new iPad. The LCDs and their connectors look very similar, however the previous model screens will not be forward compatible with the new model. So that is the uh, screen teardown for the iPad 6. If you have any other questions, just write them down in the comments below. I'll leave our website in the description, so if you need to call us or email us with any other questions, you can definitely do that as well. Uh, if you liked the video, just give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, once again, I'm Chris from Jet City Device Repair. Thanks for watching.